So what we really want to show is this first. This is our backtrack for voice timbres. This is our voice version of it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 44, Progress, Arc, Energy. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we have multiple projects going on that are either directly or can be complemented with multimedia composition. And in particular, we spent a lot of time in this episode editing this video, which begins... and jumps into a lot of different uh, voice edits. Hi everyone, I am Sue Ellen Hartsong. Uh, five speakers, in fact, and then we end with a little bit of a uh, extra that goes like this. So that was fun. That's a 37 minute video that we have posted for uh, comments. Then we worked on this. We're working with voice animation and hearing our voice outside our head gives us perspective moving forward with work. So we spent a fair amount of time doing some live voice takes here. Voice Voice take one, voice take two. For example, if you just listen to voice take one, it sounds like this. And that's our voice. Now we are cheating a teeny weeny little bit and running it through a, a tuner. You can actually see when it plays that uh, we waver up and down a little bit. It should be inside these gray bands. So there it was a little flat, and up here started out flat, and then we started to keep it more in the band. Like that. So, enough of that. So what we did is we overlaid all three of those and rendered them. And that was called part one. This is part two. Now here, it's been fed in directly. And I got it did this way. So that's what you just heard. But you could see we clipped off the rough beginning and the rough ending, so it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. And then we, here we jacked one voice up an octave. And then here we jacked it down an octave. But we picked the tones from MuseScore in such a way that each of these tones is exactly uh, uh, five semitones apart. 
or four semitones apart. So four, 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 that's 12. So we split the octave evenly. And that way, uh, we're still experimenting with this, but uh, we can play something that was jacked up. We were also doing by semitones. Any event, we're having a lot of fun using our voice and as is, let it running it through a tuner, then pushing it up and down in pitch and hearing what does our voice sound like when it's only pushed up and down, say, four semitones. What does it sound like when it's pushed up 12 semitones, which is an octave? So hearing our voice outside our head gives us perspective moving forward. So we did all that. We did all that. Um, so what we're going to do to wrap it up is we'll play this whole part. This is what it sounds like when everything is put together. Everything's put together. This is us in the middle with kind of a choir chorus effect where one is up an octave and one is down an octave. So that concludes today's stream. What we like about this experimenting is, is a lot of little things. We're learning more and more our way around the Reaper uh, digital audio workstation. We're learning more and more working our voice and seeing where we are on pitch and where we're not on pitch. It does take physical training. You vocalists know that very well. It was also fun tweaking these output levels so that everything is balanced and we keep it in kind of a steady net net um, audio level. Our ideas for next time are continue our video edits. We have a the one that we just showed you is out for comment. There's a few little tweaks to do but it's pretty much ready to post. Uh, we have another one to record this week and then we have one we recorded two weeks ago that we're still editing. And also consider some more music to compose to to go with some upcoming projects in play. Shout outs to Mr. Spatz, Silent Lurker, and Miss Cleo, who kept us motivated. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do please keep on streaming.